Okay, here we are at the Magento e-commerce shop at danieljamesphotography.net slash shop. Okay, there's a promo over. Um, we're going to create a product, a configurable product, with multiple attributes, meaning it can be, in this example, we've got an art print, a print on the bed, pink rose, um, and it's got, the attributes are finish, glossy and matte, and size 6x4, 5x7, 10x8, da 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 and they'll all have different ones, so 5x7 is £1 more, 10 by 8 is £2 more, etc. With a nice product description as normal down here. Okay, so the way that Magento lays this out is that every single option has is a product, even though it's not visible here. And then there's one master product, which is what you're seeing here, which pulls in all the data from the other ones. So to begin with, well, let's I'll just show you how that is. See, we've got loads and loads of the same of a prince on a bed right down here. Most of them show invisibility nowhere. See, and then there's there's our master product showing the catalog and search is enabled. Uh, price name configurable product. That's the difference. See, all the others are simple products. So we're going to go back to the beginning how we actually created this. So we went to catalog attributes and for this purpose we made a new attribute set which was just for prints. Now you don't have to do this but we thought it would be easier because that way like for example finish and the size only apply to prints they don't apply to other products so it just made it a bit easier. Um, you then go when you've created a new set which which actually I'll just just show you just for ease of use. Let's go on add new set from here. See we've got prints there, the name, and then it'll be based on if you've already got one there, just based on default for example. Okay, then we go to the manage attributes and in here oh we still got it set from earlier. So let's reset that. We've added size and finish. So let's pretend we're adding finish in. Add new attribute from the top. This can be applicable to anything such as um, colour, um, size in terms of small, medium, large, etc. Whatever applies to you. So attribute codes just for your internal use. So whatever you want in there, we'd be putting for this example. Finish. Scope, quite important. Global, otherwise it won't show up. The drop text, the entry field, sorry, is drop down leave these uh, if it's required or not now mine it does so that people don't get confused and go oh no I meant to order that one it just it can make it a bit easier um, apply to all products fine use to create a configurable product we want yes because otherwise you're not going to be able to use it later then we go on manage label options admin we put in finish and finish in there uppercase then lowercase add option so we'd have mat Mat position one and mat's a default. Just my preference, doesn't have to be. Glossy. And position two, so that's below mat. And that's all it is. Then we just click save attribute up here. We won't save it because we've already got one. We then just go over to manage attribute sets. A new one we made here, print. What you will see is when you've added it, it will be over here in the unassigned attributes area, which would be a case like that. What we do is we just drag that across and put it anywhere you want in amongst that. I put them at the top because they're quite important and I'll, I'll be needing them later basically. So I move those in there and then just save attribute set, nice and simple. That's you set up, ready to go. So then we're back to the product, we're going to start adding the products now. So obviously add product. Now, under this, we're going to use the attribute set that we've set up, prints, and it's a simple product, this one. So, we're going to go on finish, is, no, sorry, name, is a whisper, which is the first one of the, the second image, which if we go into the prints, which is there, we'll just save that, we'll just save that across. 
uh, optimal size being around 300 or so width or height so I just put in if it's a landscape put 300 if it's a portrait I put the height 300 so uh, that's number two doesn't really matter about this so to sub right there we go that's all ready to go now description we put anything uh, anything in here we're just setting up the first ones SKU so as I said before just to make it easy I put in print to 6x4 and this was matte so wait 200 we put in status enabled you can leave the URL it'll sort itself out visibility at this point this is important nowhere we don't want this one to be seen prices I set it as zero and then I I configure it no sorry so this is 499 to the base one 6x4 price and then add on anything else I want in the other attributes later on fill in all the other information the inventory this is quite important each style we need to have the appropriate inventory attached to it so in my case stocks not an issue because we can just reorder prints um, categories I don't, I don't believe this affects it I haven't tried it I set it up personally with them so just simple own text moments so. Uh, we can even leave, leave the image empty for now because this is just the basic one. But uh, what we're going to do, we'll add in. So that, oh, forgot the tax class, so set that as none. Is that okay? Yep, okay. Whilst that just loads up. Now, to make it easier for the next one, once we set the first one up, we can just hit duplicate at the top. Make it a little bit quicker. And that's done that. Yeah, so now we're going glossy, and of course, this one, the new SKU, print two, six by four, glossy. Enabled, let the eye okay. Nowhere again, and of course, this inventory has to be itself as well, but and that's got no inventory attached. Leave the image for now, and it's already in the category. So hit save. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to make it obviously you can add in as many options as you want here at this point. When you've done all the ones you want, you hit add product. Tribute set prints. This time we're going on configurable product. This is the important difference now. This is our master ones that were. From the attributes, the ones that you set up, you'll need finish, size in our case. Manufacturers there by default. I don't use it personally. So type in here. A whisper. And it's some reeds blowing in the, the wind. for now it's not important so now what I do is print to full I should call it so we leave this one we want this one to be visible and we want it to be enabled and set the price zero because we've already set the others 499 images quickly add our image in and take a moment hopefully there we go inventory and we're not managing stock so no categories this one's important it will need categories oh wrong one art prints and in nature again this time we're going on related products you'll notice that new one so now from here we need to pick the related products so we got Oh, sorry. sorry, I've gone the wrong one. Related products will show up ones in the uh, side car so that if you're buying this, then you might want to look at this. So what I meant was we need to go on associated products. So from here, we're not looking at those. We're looking at a whisper this time. You've got matte, glossy, 6x4. So 
hopefully the only options showing up on these will be matte and glossy and there'll be a 6x4 and just for argument's sake we'll make the 6x4 £2 more if that's the only one uh, we hit save oh, going again with the tax hit save ok, moment of truth now sorry this video has gone on a bit but uh, here we go hopefully this makes things a bit clearer for people go back on the offense, there we go a whispers there product zero pounds but if we select we got matte and glossy there matte six by four two pounds goes on glossy two pounds goes on there we go hope this cleared things up a bit and made things easier for you in magento